Hey, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, man, this literally does not work. I am here reporting live from Atlanta, Georgia, site of this year's Super Bowl. We are one week away today. Of course, we got that big game that I know everybody's looking forward to. That's right. Everybody can't wait for the Pro Bowl today. You know, our Dallas Cowboys, well, they're knee-deep in, of course, the Pro Bowl. we got a lot of our great players and stuff that are in there playing and things. And, you know, some people don't want to play in Pro Bowls. People like Tom Brady, like he put it, you think I do this because I want to uh, play in Pro Bowls? It's about playing the Super Bowls for that guy. So, thank you for joining this morning's edition of Don't Sleep on the Dallas Cowboys because you literally cannot sleep on the Dallas Cowboys because things that happen late in the evening, late at night, first thing in the morning, so you want to be up to speed with all that is America's team. And so, I'm up early this morning getting things together. I'm a jack of all trades, and I guess you could say I'm really a master of none. Um, I've got a lot of things that I really and truly enjoy doing. And actually, one of them is actually photography. I wish I had better equipment. I wish I actually had more time to kind of devote. There's so many different things that I'm interested in that I just don't have enough time to really master them all. So I guess I'm a jack of all trades and a master of none. Um, so I'm downloading some pictures from yesterday uh, from uh, the NFL experience and things and getting some good ones for United Way of stuff for social media and things. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm actually here. And uh, I'm kind of a one-man show. So I take pictures, I do my live streams, I set up stuff. And during the week, what we'll be doing is United Way actually has a booth set up at NFL Experience. It's a virtual reality set for Character Playbook. And um, we're going to be having NFL players that are going to be coming through and uh, promoting it and stuff. They're also doing a contest. If you're here local, for a $10 donation, you actually have a chance to uh, win Super Bowl tickets. And in fact, uh, the first contest is already over and they have an all-inclusive package and they're on their way to Super Bowl later on this week. So it, it's for a great cause and um, people actually have a great time and stuff with it. But anyway, speaking of the media, it's amazing, T.O., T.O. who shunned the Hall of Fame, T.O. who basically just said, F you guys, because it's the media that votes you in. But I think T.O. has aspirations of actually being uh, in the media now, which happens a lot. A lot of times guys that were people that absolutely hated the media, they turn around and become the media. And I think we're seeing that evolution now. And he's out there, because here's the bottom line with media. Understand, they are looking for people that will get reactions, good or bad. It doesn't matter in media. As long as people are watching for whatever reason, it's a win. And that's the thing that T.O. can bring, because, you know, T.O. is a diva. T.O. is a guy who will throw people under the bus. And... He definitely threw Tony Romo under the bus. Um, you remember this clip. It's not about, you know, Tony. You guys can point the finger at him. You, you can talk about the vacation. And if you do that, it's really unfair. It's really unfair. It's my team. It's my quarterback. And if you guys do that, man, it's unfair. We lost as a team. We lost as a team, man. Yeah, you remember him talking about his quarterback, his teammate. I got to look. I, I love to take, take a look at that picture. Joe Boo. Ah, 
Okay, that one's not for you neither, but but um last night on NFL Total Access, he went on and started talking about how good Tony Romo is in the booth. Hey man, it's great that he can recognize plays and stuff from the booth. Too bad he couldn't execute when we were on the field. Let, let's go to that clip. Quarterback Tony Romo will be calling the Super Bowl. A uh, right. lot of fans out there of him as a uh, color commentator. Did you know that he would be like this as a broadcaster when you found out that this is what he was going to do? Did you see him predicting the plays? Is that what he was like as a quarterback? Well, again, uh, you have a guy that's very cerebral, again, at the quarterback uh, position. Um, again, I think when you talk about guys like that that go into booth into the booth, nobody would know that he, how successful he would be, but obviously he's doing a great job at it. And I think it's one thing to call the game in the booth and actually be in action and recognize those coverages, assess what's going on. But I think in the end, you have to deliver the ball accurately and decisively. And I think that what makes him great in the booth, opposed to what he did on the football field. What do you mean as opposed to what he did on the football field? Because you did tweet recently, right. uh, it's a world of difference in that booth and in the action. You would think that he would have been the ultimate quarterback. Right, because, yeah, when you start comparing guys that have played that position, you know, like what makes them great? Um, again, he had situations where he always threw interceptions uh, late, late in the games. So, again, it's about decision making. It's about how accurate and where you throw the ball. As you saw in the game against the Chiefs with, with Tom Brady, Gronk was basically absent probably for three and a half quarters. But he saw how the defenses had started to take Edelman out of the play. He recognized that and he delivered strikes uh, and took the one-on-one -on -one matches with Gronk when they needed to be made. So you're saying he knew what needed to happen, but he just couldn't execute it? Right. It's all about execution. It's all about, like I said, you can see something and know where to throw and go with the ball. But it's, if the ball is not delivered and it's not thrown accurately for a receiver to catch it, then that play doesn't, it doesn't happen. Yeah, that, that was some serious shade that he threw on Romo. I mean, to go through and basically say, yeah, you're garbage. It's great that you figured out how to go ahead and recognize defenses, but you can't execute. Ooh, kind of reminded me, because I talked about this last night, um, David Carr in the Carnival Sideshow last year at uh, NFL X against... Dak Prescott. Oh, it was great that you could throw that with nobody rushing at you and everything else, and you probably warmed up and everything else here. But what are you like under pressure? What are you like when all hell is breaking loose in that amount of time when you have to make a decision, where you have to read it in real time and space and everything else? Yeah, T.O. is definitely throwing shade on Romo. I'm curious to see what you guys think about that situation. You know, uh, wow. But I got to tell you, if you're trying to get on TV, T.O., that's the best way to do it. A little controversy always stirs the pot up and definitely piques people's interest. Well, guys, I got a lot of work to do. Got to go through these pictures and things and uh, watch the Pro Bowl. I'll see you guys soon.